God is saying to you today you were created for more than what your mind can comprehend. God says. I knew everything you would do before you were born, and still called you. I'm not finished with you and you will not be abandoned. God gave you two ears and one mouth, to listen more and speak less. God gave your one brain and two hands, to think less and do more. Be wise every day. God has been accompanying you all the time. God never leaves man. God is man's reliance and refuge at any time. God is man's only confidant. Therefore, no matter what difficulties or pains you encounter, no matter what following in Victoria laws and suffocating, negative or weak things you encounter, you quickly come to God to pray, and God will comfort you, God will solve your difficulties, and solve your various problems. God said, before you do anything, put your trust totally in God and not in yourself. Then every plan you make will succeed. God is never absent from the heart of man, and he lives among man at all times. He has been the driving force of man's living, the root of man's existence, and a rich deposit for man's existence after birth. He causes man to be reborn, and enables him to tenaciously live in his every role. Thanks to his power and his inextinguishable life force, man has lived for generation after generation, throughout which the power of God's life has been the mainstay of man's existence, and God has paid a price that no ordinary man has ever paid. Don't ever think that you've been gone too long to come to him. God is not some spiritual parole officer waiting for you to fail. If you've strayed from prayer, he is not keeping some score. If you don't feel him, tell him that, I don't feel you right now, God. Pray with any amount of faith that you have, believe that prayer works, ask for faith if you have none. If you're mad, tell him. If you're ashamed, guilty, confused, afraid, doubtful, tell him. He can handle that. He is understanding, patient, gracious, and most importantly he loves you. We tend to blame God so much for the failures in our life. We ask him why he led us to a place of failure and hurt when it was us trying to take control that led us there in the first place. God says stop looking at yourself from the natural point of view. All the struggles and failures of your life have destroyed God's picture in you, have this confidence that I am working mightily within you, transforming you every minute of your life. The good work that I have began in you will be completed one day. There will be a day when you realize that everything you prayed to God for is here. Life catches up with us and we forget that we were once worried about something that we now have. Don't forget to thank God for it, because He got you there. Be joyful always. Pray at all times, be thankful in all circumstances. This is what God wants from you in your life in union with Christ Jesus. Thank you O oh God for guidance and protection every day. Help us to obey you in every area of our lives so that we will not come out from the umbrella of your protection. Thank you for the gifts, abilities, and creativeness you have placed in us. I pray that we will continue to discover, develop, and refine those gifts and talents and use them for your purpose and glory, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God was protecting you from something that was going to steal, kill and destroy your destiny while you felt you were being rejected. Remember God has a plan for you. God is faithful. God is true. God is a promise keeper. If He wants you to have something or be with someone, He will lead you on the right path to it I to the person, it will be meant just for you. 
No need to rush. And no need to worry. Trust God for He knows all things. God says, What is true prayer? It is telling God what is in your heart, communing with God as you grasp His will, communicating with God through His words, feeling especially close to God, sensing He is there before you, and believing you have something to say to Him. Your heart feels filled with light and you feel how lovable God is. You feel especially inspired, and listening to you brings gratification to your brothers and sisters. They will feel that the words you speak are the words within their hearts, the words they wish to say, as though your words were a substitute for their own. This is what true prayer is. Sometimes, the best thing you can do for someone is back away, pray for them, and let God do what only He can do in their lives. God, our Father, loving and merciful, bring together my family in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Instill in my family each the spirit of understanding and affection for each other. Keep quarrels and bitterness far from them, and for their occasional failures instill forgiveness and peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, you are my God, I will exalt you and praise your name, for in perfect faithfulness you have done marvelous things, things planned long ago. Lord, please forgive me. I am not perfect, I am a sinner. Sometimes I forget to pray, at times I forget to thank you, sometimes I lose my temper. I know you see every little thing I do but thank you for always giving me another day to start anew. My Lord I trust you and need you. You are my everything. I am literally nothing without you. When you see how beautiful the next season God has prepared for you is, you will finally understand why the devil fought you so hard. The devil does not attack us because of our present, but because he doesn't like where God is taking you. Faith is trusting God. Even when you don't understand his plan. You aren't called to understand. You're called to trust. Just because you don't see anything happening, doesn't mean God's not working. Sometimes God holds you back until the road is safe for you to continue. Be confident that what God wills for you won't pass you by just remember how many times your, why is this happening to me, turned into thank you God. When you remember all that He has brought you through, you will stop doubting where He is taking you your life is set to the pace of God's perfect timing. Just trust Him. I hope you hear God over your heart. No matter whether it's breaking or full. Lukewarm or torn. I hope you hear God speaking the truth in your ears while you listen to worrisome whispers reverberating your fears. I hope you hear God over your thoughts as you wrestle to evade dark waters that want to drag you downward. I hope you hear God over your eyes as they realize you haven't seen all you wanted to see, as they gaze upon your desires unfolding in the lives of others. I hope, regardless of your circumstance, that you hear God. God allowed Peter to fall in the water, but didn't let him drown. God allowed Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den, but didn't let him be eaten. God will always get you out of your situation. You just need to have more faith in Him and stop doubting Him. Heavenly Father, in our moments of weakness, when we falter and are tempted to stray from Your path, grant us the wisdom to see beyond our failings. Help us to not use our weaknesses as excuses for sin, but as reminders of our dependence on Your strength and guidance. In Jesus' name. Once you understand the battle belongs to God, everything changes. 
It's not about what you can do or who you are, but about what he has done and who he is. The battle belongs to the Lord and he. POV, waiting for other Christian girlies who are wanting to go deeper in their faith and understanding of God's word. I rest underneath your mighty wings of love. I dwell within your gentle heart. I know there is healing in your touch. Through the sufferings of Christ, I can ask for restoration and trust in your goodness. You are my Lord, my Savior, my Healer, and my Friend. I dwell within your gentle embrace. Jesus knows you are not where you want to be in life right now. He knows that even though you have good things you still just feel sad. He understands how you feel stuck in negative cycles and don't know your way out. He wants to help you break free from depression and anxiety. He wants to gift you with something that the world cannot take away. He wants to give you joy. Sadness that brings you closer to God is better than happiness that pulls you away from Him. God Thank you for the gift of salvation and for being the one true way. The world desperately needs your truth and light. Guide my steps to be bold in sharing your truth with those around me. Use my life to point others toward you, and bring me back to your way and your truth when I stray. In Jesus' name, Amen. If it is truly meant for you, it will happen. If it is truly meant for you, it will return even if you've pushed it away. We make plans, but God orders our steps. He sees the end from the beginning. If it is truly meant for you, the path you take to turn away from it will be the road that leads you to it. If it is truly meant for you, it is already waiting for you to arrive. God is in control. Gracious God, thank you for accompanying me through all the storms and trials of life. I appreciate your unwavering presence. You know my needs, and you understand what is most beneficial for me. Even when it doesn't align with my desires, I firmly believe that your plans surpass anything I could conceive. If God has been good to you, declare Amen. Your next blessing will be proof that God was with you the entire time. Someone asked God. If everything is already written in destiny then why should I wish? God smiled and said, maybe on some pages I've written. When you say, I prayed for you, it's like zero telling someone, I've spoken to God about you. I'm grateful that I met you, and I'm asking him to take care of you and keep you safe. It is a unique expression of love that cannot be replicated with material things. People who pray for others are truly special and top tier. When you learn how to sit at the table with your Judas, you'll understand the love of Christ. Some people are literal sunshine in our lives sent from God. They come, they shine, make us smile and never ask for anything in return. Lord, you are my protector and my refuge. You are my strength and victory. I ask that you remove everything that didn't do me any good. I ask you, Lord, not to allow that which does not come from you to reach me. I wish that your will be fulfilled in my life and that if they are not the same as mine, I wish that I could do your will, because I know you have the best for my life. Stay with me Lord. May God bless everyone who's. I'm going to be really transparent and honest. When you choose Jesus, you will lose friends. You will lose relationships. 
You will lose support. You will be misunderstood. You will be hated. At times, you'll feel like no one gets it. And at times, the only one you'll have is Jesus. But when you choose Jesus, you will gain a Father for all eternity. You will gain provision and protection. You will gain favor. You will be validated. You'll have a friend who never leaves you or rejects you. You gain. Never again will I confess, I can't, for, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Never again will I confess lack, for, my God shall supply all, my, need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Never again will I confess doubt and lack of faith, for, God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Never again will I confess supremacy of Satan over my life, for, greater is he that is in, me, than he that is in the world. Dear Lord, sometimes I fall short and fail to be who you've called me to be. I can sometimes fail to love my neighbors as you love them or not uphold my responsibility ties when it comes to being a part of the body of Christ. God, please forgive me. Con, continue to transform my heart and renew my mind so that I can draw closer to you. Heavenly Father, in this moment of pain, I come before you. Your word says that you are near to the broken-hearted, and I claim that promise now. Draw near to me, Lord, and mend my wounded heart. In Jesus' name, Amen. Heavenly Father, my soul is downcast, and my heart aches. Yet, I choose to put my hope in you. You are my Savior and my God. Please restore my joy and peace, even in the midst of sorrow. In Jesus' name, Amen. Heavenly Father, I bring my broken heart to you. Your word says that you heal the brokenhearted and bind up their wounds. I ask for your healing touch and your comfort in this time of hurt. In Jesus' name, Amen. Not sure who needs to see this tonight but, at the right time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Go to sleep in peace knowing your life is already in the hands of God and His timing is perfect. Doors opening or closing. God speaks through circumstances with us Revelation 3 verse 8. Randomly recognizing God in His creation. Red King for a sign and suddenly IRD sits down in front of you. It's very hard sometimes to keep quiet while people lie, manipulate and put on a show for the world at your expense. But the Bible says, hold your peace and the Lord will fight for you, you only need to be still. Exodus 14 verse 14 when you jump to defend yourself or try to clear things up, you don't leave God room to be God. So let them talk, let them lie, let them manipulate. You just be still. Because when God is for you, who can stand against you? I trust in Him, what can mere mortals do to me? Dear Lord, I am tired and don't know when this phase will end in my life. I feel like I've been running forever, trying to outrun this trial. Please give me a measure of your love today and give me the strength to overcome this trial. Satan says.
You have disappointed God too many times, give up. Dear Lord, I need you. I need you to guide me. I need you to give me strength. I need you to forgive my sins and heal me from past hurts. I need you to show me your love and direct me towards your truth. Because without you I'm nothing. If you love the Lord, please share this prayer with someone's. God says, Having the same vivid dreams or visions, a thought that keeps popping up, can be God trying to talk to you. Proverbs 25 verse 2 Dear Lord, thank you for setting aside a day where I can turn my heart to you and find rest from the work of my hands and mind. I confess that I don't always cherish rest as I should and ask you to help me to make the worship priority today so that I may be refreshed in your word and guidance. In Jesus' name, Amen. If God is your number one priority, respond with Amen. Dear God, as I prepare to rest for the night, I thank you for the blessings of this day. Forgive me for any shortcomings, and guide me to be a better person tomorrow. Watch over and protect me, my loved ones, and all those in need. Grant us peaceful and restful sleep, and may we wake up refreshed and ready to face a new day. Amen. Who is a God like you? pardoning iniquity in passing over transgression for the remnant of his inheritance. He does not retain his anger forever, because he delights in steadfast love. He will again have compassion on us, he will tread our iniquities underfoot. You will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. I'd rather leave the world for God than be scared to be judged by the world for choosing God. Heavenly Father, as we gather together on this sacred Sunday, we lift our hearts to you in gratitude and praise. Thank you for the gift of this day, a time for rest, reflection, and rejuvenation in your presence. As we embark on a new week, we surrender our plans and worries to you, trusting in your divine guidance and provision. Fill us with your peace that surpasses all understanding, and grant us the strength to face the challenges ahead with courage and faith. May your love shine through us, illuminating the path for others to find hope and solace in your embrace. Bless our time together today, Lord 69 and may it be filled with your presence, your joy, and your grace. Amen. When I doubt myself, I remember that the one who created this entire universe is before me, so whatever small problem I face, why should I worry? The God I worship is greater than anything else so why should I fear? Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you on behalf of every woman who will pray this prayer. Our hearts are eager to fulfill the purpose you've created for us. The scars of past hurts, both given and received, have left us hesitant to open our hearts. But today, we are seeking healing and the strength to connect again. We know there is power in community, as Proverbs 27 verse 17 reminds us, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Heal the wounds of our past, Lord. Open our eaves. Don't let these walls of doubt and uncertainty blind us to the amazing connections you have planned. 
We long to see clearly to recognize the strong, God-fearing women you've placed in our lives. Give us discernment, not just for ourselves, but for each other help us identify when it's you pulling the strings. Give us wisdom to recognize your hand at work, guiding us towards incredible breakthroughs as a team of sisters in Christ. We understand, God, that true connection starts with you. You are the foundation upon which this community is built. As Ecclesiastes two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Show us, Father, how to be a source of strength and encouragement for each other. Guide us to recognize blessings, dreams, and even unspoken prayers, not just for ourselves, but for those sisters around us. May we tear down walls of isolation and build bridges of love and support. In Jesus' name, Saturday Prayer Dear God, Today I wanted to pray for anyone feeling lonely. God I thank you that you care about everyone individually. I thank you that you want to know us, no matter how many times we mess up. God I thank you that if we ask you to be with us, you will be. I thank you that you're the good shepherd that walks alongside us, no matter what we're going through. God I pray that you will help anyone feeling lonely, feel a little less alone today.